رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم out of love to us out of his extreme love to us he taught us everything to protect us from any harm dua when you wake up dua when you leave the house dua when you get inside the car dua when you get into the market dua before you eat dua after you eat dua when you come back home dua before you sleep everything and subhanallah when allah azza wa jal wants to put a baraka in someone's ilm in someone's knowledge just like the sheikh al qahatani who made this small book and he named it fortress of the muslim i don't think anybody here does not know about this book or does not even have this book allah put so much baraka in this book that it's translated to many languages it's an app everywhere you look you will find it and he gathered all the duas that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us and literally i love the name so much fortress of the muslim and it's a true fortress literally rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam if you want to prevent be prevented from the jinn say this before you sleep say this literally it's a barrier between us and any harm tayyib what is the dua for tonight many people complain about the jinn and when is the most time that the jinn attack when you're sleeping because you when you when you are remembering allah you are creating that barrier when we sleep we stop remembering allah it's an open field yalla right so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught us that before you sleep Many of us know Ayat Al-Kursi, last two ayah of Surah Al-Baqarah, Subhanallah 33, Alhamdulillah 33, Allahu Akbar 34, Qulhu Allahu Ahad Al-Falaq Al-Nas three times each and you wipe your body. We all know these duas. And this dua, some scholars says, say it before you sleep and some said, say it if you have any nightmares. إِذَا فَزِعَ أَحَدُكُمْ You're sleeping and you get up right away. Something happened. And it happens many times to our children, right? If someone gets scared and he got up in the middle of the night because he saw something evil and evil dreams are from the shaytan. We all know that. فَلْيَقُلْ Let him say, أَعُوذُ بِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ التَّامَّ مِنْ غَضَبِهِ وَعِقَابِهِ وَشَرِّ عِبَادِهِ ومن ومن الشيطان ومن همزات الشياطين وان يحضرون اعوذ بالله اعوذ بكلمات الله التامه من غضبه وعقابه وشر عباده ومن همزات الشياطين وان يحضرون i seek refuge with the best and perfect words of allah azza wa jalla from what from his anger i cannot afford allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be angry with me from his punishment and from the evil of his servants anyone is plotting for me anyone planning things for me anyone uh, uh, speaking behind my back ill any anything any shar that might come from his ibad ya allah protect me from it and this is the key here wa min hamazati shayateen and from the whispers of the shayateen watch this Listen to this. Go there. Say this about your brother. This is all whispers of the shayateen and we all face them. And if we are not strong, they can get a hold of us. And we could fall in this trick. وَمِنْ هَمَزَاتِ الشَّيَاطِينَ وَأَنْ يَحْضُرُونَ And I, Ya Allah, protect me that they come and stop here. Come what? Aha, subhanAllah. You know how many people tell me, Shaykh, shaitan comes to me in sujood. Shaitan comes to me in tawaf. Shaitan comes to me during dua. So here, Ya Allah, protect me from them to come in these positions during my ibadah. And the most important place that Ya Allah, I want you to protect me from them is when? On my deathbed. Islam is wrong. 
forget about Muhammad. Subhanallah. So if it was my habit all the time to say this dua, I will be protected the most time that I need to be protected, which is on my deathbed. I don't want to leave my deen on my deathbed. And the majority of the ulama said, Yahdurun means on my deathbed, when I'm taking my last breath and they start whispering, I want to say, La ilaha illallah, and they're telling me, No, 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 don't, because you know, we always hear that the shayateen are the most active when I'm about to leave this dunya because they're going to khalas, they're going to miss <laughs> leading me astray. So they put all the effort possible. To get me to lose my deen. So, Ya Allah, protect me at that moment. So, repeat after me, inshallah. A'udhu bi kalimati Allahi tamma min ghadabihi wa iqabihi wa sharri ibadih wa min hamazati shayateen wa an yahdurun. May Allah protect us all. إن المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات والصادقين والصادقات والصابرين والصابرات والخاشعين والخاشعات والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات أعد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما